What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in a Freightliner Cascadia. The I can't do like a good view. I need better cameras. I know they have that mod. Let's get in the truck. Get off the phone, woman! Gosh. Hey, there's our truck info. We've got a guitar. American Truck stuff. The blinker sound doesn't work for some reason. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on with that. Let's turn off the headlights. We got pesticides. 25,815 pounds of pesticides. Going to Tacoma. We're currently in... Uh, Port... Uh, not Portland. Uh, shoot. That's gonna bug me now. We're currently in Portland. Yeah, Portland. Uh, I bought a few garages. Uh, I bought Seattle, Portland. I bought like one in each, or two, sometimes two in each, uh, just to change it up a little bit, because we've been pretty much going from New Mexico to Colorado, or just New Mexico recently. I ha wanna see the Pacific Northwest a little bit. change it up a little bit. I'm gonna fix this mirror. Oops. Put it over there. Hood right, not hood right, right. That should be fine. That's fine. I feel like we're a little bit low, but it should be okay. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. See, the blinker sound doesn't work, which, which I'm fine with. Uh, sometimes I get annoyed with it. I don't think anybody's right there. Scorpion's gone. Turn right. You got it, woman. So. So yeah, what I purchased a bunch of garages and just so we can explore a little bit more. I know we've explored pretty much the entire. Oh, no, whoa, they're gonna hit each other. The entire map. Well, not the entire map, but the big cities of the most of the map. actually like the TH8 Pro or TH8 shifter I believe it's like two to three hundred bucks but the I got it used for a hundred bucks but brand new brand new the TMX Pro is I want to say like a hundred fifty bucks but the shifter costs way more I don't know why Seattle, Kirby. I don't know how far it wants me to get over. Get off the phone, woman! Gosh. Keep right, and then keep left. Keep right, so we're in the perfect lane, I think. Keep right, keep yeah. The engine brake is pretty much keep non-existent. Left. I believe it's because the exhaust goes underneath the truck. We gotta slow down. We haven't been over here <laughs> in such a long time. I just pretty much have been driving new trucks and doing it and showing you guys uh, the new trucks from 
only New Mexico and driving from New Mexico somewhere else. Santa Fe, New Mexico, I believe, is where the garage is at. We're going to pass by that funky horse. Oh, no, we're not in Denver. What am I thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, that's because the first that's the first city I went to when I uh, used the developer options. Ooh, more water. Look at the water. Fine, don't look at the water. There's the port. going 65 speed limit's 50 yeah, you can hear it a little bit Let's slow it down a little bit it's green otherwise <laughs> we'd be launching off the boat ramp a little bit of uh, droppage and a little laggy uh, when I play Call of Duty Cold War, I have my frame uh, FPS at the corner just to see what my frame rates are. But I don't know if this game has a uh, frames per second counter. I believe I have to use uh, like a third party one Keep and left. put it on the screen, but I'm not sure. And I was I, I, I wanted to get two uh, three monitors at one point, three 27 inch monitors, and I have the room for it. Uh, but then I ended up getting this, like I told you a million times, a 34 and 32 inch monitor, curved monitor. I never thought I'd like like curved monitors. Samsung, it's like a thousand dollar monitor. I got it for 300 bucks from a guy who was no longer uh, no longer playing games or something anymore. I think his girlfriend made him give it up. Or his fiance or his wife or I don't know. He showed up with his wife and he showed up with a monitor sitting on his lap. I was like, hmm. he's probably so sad he has to give uh sell it. But I love it. Uh the only thing I don't like I love it. The only thing the one thing that bugs me is I wish it was adjustable uh, the, uh, it has an adjustable, like, the stand that it comes with is adjustable completely, like, it'll go vertical, it'll go 360 degrees, but up against the wall, it goes, it's so close to you that I have an L desk, an L-shaped desk, and instead of me being, like, straight with, on one of the sides, I'm in the corner because there's there's not that much room for my keyboard or or the uh, steering wheel for me to mount that I'd be like right up against the monitor so I would have I'd have to put my keyboard somewhere else which I was thinking about doing but I don't know I wish and I don't think it has VESA, uh, VESA VESA mounts because if I look at the back, it's mounted onto the monitor in a completely different way. Usually, you could take out. Usually, on the back of a monitor, there's like four holes for the mount, the universal mounts. Mine doesn't have that. Mine has a round hole for the current mount for the monitor. Oh, you know what I didn't even think of. Uh, since I use NVIDIA Shadowplay, I should have a FPS counter on that that will work on this uh, overlay that I have. I should probably check that out. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Cold War. I don't know if you guys want to see that. I do a lot of multiplayer where, I just, where it's like free-for-all or domination or hardpoint. It's like capturing zones, and you're playing against like six other people, so it's like six on six. Uh, it's almost like Rainbow Six, but a lot more toned down. It's not as serious as Rainbow Six. And the people that are, have mics, they just talk so much randomness that sometimes I end up turning it off or only talking to my friends or family that I play with. 
because it's so annoying. There's so many children on there. Um, I don't know. I do got to get back to some of my games, although I haven't really played any of them in a long time. water out here it's nice keep left and then we're gonna make this little u turn keep right and then exit right exit right that says, but I know that's a real company. <laughs> Go check it. I'm pulled into that gas station. I haven't pulled into a gas station in a long time this game. We have plenty of fuel, though. 10 a.m. We're already here. Go straight on. Okay. Find another route is what she's going to say when I pull in here. Uh, right here? Yeah. The port of Tacoma. Never mind. Never I'll mind. I'll find a new route. Can I go right here? Or is it... Oh, Please, yeah. make a U-turn when possible. Oh, no. It's not even around here. I don't know. I was trying to... Oh, the loves is up here. Got it. 276. It's over here. Oh, I'm on the curb. This is like the truck. The truck loading. The uh, truck gas station. With the pumps on each side. Let's see. It'd be cool to back into one of these spots, like the one in the corner. Volvo, W900. I thought there would be more trucks in here, but I do all have that traffic density pack on, so or the traffic density thing on. It'd be nice if they were staggered so you'd be able to back in between trucks. There's a train down there. I don't know where we're going. Oh, we gotta get out this way, I believe. Right, let's get back inside of our trucks and so don't hit anything. I went again. Plus three, zero mile, zero mile an hour plus three. I don't know what that means. Is that the retarder? Probably it's the retarder. I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember this. Keep right, and then turn right. Mm -hmm. We gotta go through the station. It's over here. So Turn I, right. Yeah. A lagginess right there. Here we are. Did Safe hit and that? Is there anything over there to hit? No. We're fine. How you doing, sir? What's going on? Nothing? Just hanging out? Alright. Well. I'm gonna pull in here. And, uh... Thank you for everything. Go to this one. Until 
fill lane clears. Don't hit that. Is there anything? No. I thought maybe you can weigh yourself, but apparently not. Okay, where are we going? Over here somewhere? I think I might have to, unless I were just pulling in, I don't know. I haven't been to one of these ports in such a long time. The big old ship over there. It's not that one, it's over here somewhere. Or it would go in the wrong way. I think we might have went in the wrong way. But, I don't know. That's an unusual spot. But they get, I would understand if it had like... If I had a load like that on the back, but not like one of those containers. Let me see here if we're in this completely wrong. Might be in it backwards, for all I know. I think we are in it backwards. It'd be nice if it told you which way. Uh, I have to turn around somewhere else. Not right here. Is that a lifted car? Looks like a Volvo. Alright, we're just gonna come over here and turn around. Like, what are you doing in there? Learn how to drive in a port, sir. We have plenty of room over here. Had I known it was going to be one of these drop offs, I probably would have picked doubles or. I should probably do that in my neck. Not doubles in my neck. Maybe doubles, I don't know. Or, um,. What's the other one? The heavy haul stuff. This this camera is so weird. Wait a second. There you go. This camera? So not cool. <laughs> but that'll have to work. We're super close. Alright, let's drop it off. Excellent. Pesticide. Pesti Start over. Excellent. Pesticides delivered from Portland, Oregon to Tacoma, Washington. 155 miles, 4 hours, 11 minutes, 25.9 gallons consumed. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like. Uh, let me know what other trucks you want to see. I'll, dr I'll certainly try and pick them up and drive them. Uh, I do still have that $105 mod for the Peterbilt 380, no, not Peterbilt, uh, Freightliner Classic, I have a Freightliner Classic and I have, I think it is Peterbilt, I'm not even sure, to be, to be honest with you guys, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, thank you for watching, take care, peace out, get off the phone, woman, go!